dawn, we're saying 10 years have passed. And humans have let the Earth fall apart. Caesar is leading the apes into a new era. I just thought that in the first film, you so connected to Caesar. It's a very simple story about a very powerful idea. <laughs> you became Caesar emotionally. The way you saw him thinking and putting things together, every moment sort of blossoming. Caesar is an outsider, really. He sort of grows up believing he's one thing, and then at a very tender adolescent age is, is then cast off and thrown into his own kind. He's imprisoned, and then he sort of has to find the way to become, you know, the master of the yard. To learn who's boss soon enough. Caesar is then galvanized all of those apes and leads them to freedom, capture people's imaginations and hearts. What I thought was exciting about this idea was taking that character who was sort of a revolutionary and watch as he became a leader. You're really following him through the story. He's a very natural leader, Caesar. People respect him. He is the alpha. This film, Caesar's got to deal with his own flock. He's got to make choices and compromises that not everyone respects. It's one thing to be a revolutionary. It's another thing to have a difficult moral dilemma. Human lies! <laughs> Caesar has empathy and compassion. What he sees is a world that needs to be shared. Caesar. Who was that? A good man like you. He can't help but to retain some of the good things that came with humanity. That's why Caesar endures. I thought we had a chance. War has already begun. <laughs>